happy Tuesday to you. We get to stream again. Hey everybody, hello and welcome to Guild Wars Tuesday here on Massively Overpowered Television, where yes, we are jumping right into Guild Wars 2 for some personal story development. <laughs> Turns out that MJ just really didn't get into Guild Wars 2 in the beginning. And just kind of like, uh, right? And then the mounts came. In fact, what you're seeing there on the screen is what sucked me into Guild Wars 2. Now, the fact that I started Path of Fire to get the mount, and then I just kept going to get other mounts, I kind of neglected, you know starting the game from the beginning to play. Today, I am rectifying that and I'm gonna spend some time checking out all, okay, not all, a few moments of the beginning story because um, there's a lot of it. There is a lot of it. It's in fact what will bring you up to the actual level of gameplay where everybody and everything else is. And, um, I'm not there. All right. Look at me. I'm still wearing my, my cool little hat. Let me jump in the room with all my amazing Guild Wars 2 guides. All right. Uh. Is that one of you guys that invited me to party? Is that another name I don't know? Nope. It's us. It is you. Okay, good. A fitting reward. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure I need to go to the whole beginning -y place. I don't even remember so where that was. All this time, you haven't done the personal story yet. We've been calling you Commander. That's been because a lie. I'm good. I'm so good. I got to skip over all of that pre stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe a little lie. I don't mean it to be a lie. <laughs> okay. Um, Just press H and open up your story. Oh. See where you are. My story, uh, three. I haven't even made it from three. <laughs> so can I just click continue the story? Yep. Death from below. Uh, yep, go back to Holbrack, whatever that actually is. All right, since you're in Divinity's Reach, you can either go to Lion's Arch and take the portal to Holbrack, or you can just go directly there. Which would you prefer? Which one is less running around in a place I'm unfamiliar with? Open the map and click on the nearest waypoint to the big star. Big star? Yep, scroll out to your east. Scroll out oh, all to the way east. up. East, okay, good, east. I didn't even know which direction to go. <laughs> there we Each go. Yep, I got up. it, I got it, I got it. Uh, to the Great Lodge, there we go. Yeah, the first time I scrolled out, I just looked and went, I don't even know which direction Might I'm supposed makes to be. Right. All right. Wait. Like to believe you're living to a I'm supposed to go right here. Hey, that's pretty good. Now, do I go in all by myself, or do you guys get to join me? Uh, most of it, we can join you, yes. Do I have to wait for you to be here? to be in the general zone. Yep, I think we're all... Nope. I'm not sure we're all the I'm not... I don't have that area unlocked. I'm trying to get there. Okay. 
That's all right. If you guys left me on my own, I'd still be looking for it. <laughs> Ikari would have gotten here and been like, what took you so long? <coughs> there you are. Wait. Okay, now you can go in. Okay. I may have to turn the sound up a little. I think I've got Guild Wars 2 turned way down. Because, you know, noise. Now, this is the zone we were chasing little cats around in. I remember that. Dredge are testing this new weapon on vigil soldiers. It has to be destroyed now. It might be better to steal the weapon, learn its secrets, develop a defense. If it's especially lethal, we might even want to turn it against the dragons themselves. An intriguing notion, Agent. But I agree. The weapon deserves a closer look. The rumors were true. Dredge did attack Scholar's Cleft. They killed a lot of people and stole an ancient tome. They were led by a dredge named Vyacheslav. Vyacheslav. On his orders, they murdered my colleagues for a book about architecture. <laughs> murdered for architecture? Why? <laughs> what was in the book that would be worth killing and dying for? Does it matter? I'm here to report that the Vigil just lost another squad to this mystery weapon. The dredge and their new toy must be stopped. I think we all agree on that. But the Priory isn't going to charge in without more information. Then stand aside. We know they're keeping the weapon somewhere near Molenhide. We'll fight our way in and destroy it. Or we could sneak in and steal it. By the time the Dredge build another one, we'll have a response prepared. As long as we do something now to prevent more loss of life. What say you, Slayer? Steal the weapon or destroy it? Oh, I have to choose a course of action? Yep. Yes. Oh, does this actually affect anything? Overall? No, Not it only affects really? the part of the story that you see. Yeah, this is there's three factions and you you help different ones out through the course and then eventually you choose a faction. But then that doesn't really affect too much afterwards. It's just kind of the mm. branching story path. Ah, let's steal. Hello. Come on, I'm a ranger. I'm stealthy. Oh. The whispers are spies. The vigil are uh, hit everything, and the uh, priori are uh, inappropriate use of magical effect. <laughs> that sounds like a naughty group. They just, they just tend to overthink things. Yeah. All right. Instead of going and smashing. All right. So I guess I'm all done. I don't even have to claim any of this. Oh, I need to select a reward. Uh, probably no matter what, because <laughs> I don't think it's going to. Yeah, these are all going to be low level things. It, yeah, it's all junk. <laughs> it's not going to change me wearing a flaming bow. Nope, the only, is all mine. The only thing it affects is skin. It, whatever. I don't know. That would the lower levels even have any decent skins? Well, if they did, then you just have unlocked it by accepting it. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but what's going to be a better skin than flaming bow? I, I I mean, really, I don't think there's any skin I'm going to like better than that. Spy soldiers and mad scientists is how Natalia describes them. That actually sounds pretty good. I'm probably more spy-like. Uh, steal the dredge weapon, so... I'm going to the dredge hideout for that. Uh, if I jump to Lake 
Morn, will that get me closer, or do I still have to run around a different way to get there? Oh, wait. I can jump to this Hodaga spreading waypoint. Is that closer? Uh, hold on. I'm trying to look on the map where you are. Um, it might be closer. This looks like a bunch of mountain ranges. I'm not sure I can get through them. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the terrain around there. I mean, we can figure out a way to go from there one way or another. All right. Padoga, Padaga, Pauga Booga Duga. I mean, <laughs> sorry. So I have a really, really important question for viewers to ponder during the stream because I have to give an answer at the end. So I have a uh, Ducky Ducky has an icon that Ducky Ducky uses as Ducky Ducky, right? But if you were to have one for me, would I be a little black kitten of chaos or would I be a little killer vorpal bunny? I can't decide. I'm not sure. Am I cuddly bunny who chews on skulls? Or am I little chaos kitty? It's, it's very hard to choose. I need help choosing. I must choose soon. I heard, I heard a, your idea, Tannic, the bunny in charge of the <laughs> kittens of chaos. Okay, we can mount. Where do you say you're going? Molengrad? A Molenhide? Isn't this the best raptor? It, I mean, it kind of takes away from the whole, uh, serious, dangerous ideas, but it is so cute! I'm sure I can sneak in with something that looks like this, right? Nobody I, I, I told you I got a plush raptor out of the uh, Black Lion chest, right? I know, but it's on your other account. On the other account. <laughs> That's so painful. After only three chests, too. I, I opened, like, 30 on this one. <laughs> That's, that's, uh, you've got good luck just in the wrong places can't you trade it or sell it a compound really I, I think this bot one was tradable alright enter yeah. in instance. you know the black lion chest it's a compound it's just painful All right, Agent, Hello. if and when. If when? Your name is if and when? Really? Okay, Slayer. Oh, You're good, good at what heavens. you do, That's but terrible. now we see if you're good at what I do. The Order of Whispers <sighs> doesn't shrink from violence, but we try to keep it to the necessary minimum. And in our line of work, it's often necessary. The Dredge have sealed themselves inside that mine. We need to get in, take what we need, and get out. I propose we borrow a pair of their mining suits. They'll assume we're one of them and let us in. After that, we have to improvise. Sneak in and keep a low profile until violence is necessary. I can handle that. Should we mine some ore first to help sell the disguise? Now you're thinking like one of us. I predict a bright future for you in our order. If you can mine as well as a dredge, that is. We'll have you fighting dragons in no time. That's in our charter, you know. But until then, let's put on a show and dig our way into that mine. But I don't want to fight dragons. I've never Nothing wanted to fight bring dragons. Me down. It's like the whole beginning of this game is like anti me. Maybe that's why I had problems with it. Uh, put on the dredge mining suit. Is it like in my bag? It's probably at the big star on the map. Back that way. Might makes me right. What? Anything I should know about a mining suit? Walk and dig. There you go. Wait 
a minute. Gotta keep the suit. Drill the rocks, like and the dredge will come pick star. up the ore. Oh, it kept giving me talk. Oh my gosh, yeah, everybody. Yeah, because standing NPC. Problems can be solved through unity. Am I supposed to? Oh. Getting just someone's pet. There we go. Well, I smashed a rock nice and lured him out. That'll do fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. More smashing rocks? Okay. Be proud! You've collected for the collective! Nothing of interest. Let's keep looking. Did you search this one? I did search it, and it was like nothing in it. Uh oh, I can do it again. Check the other crates. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, I guess maybe the search was for something nearby. When there's things nearby, never trust the just hit F. Like, always click on the thing that you want. Remember when I said we would improvise? Now's the time. We don't need a whole prototype. The components in this box will tell us all we need to know. And look around. Some of these parts are far too big for the weapon I saw. The dredge must be planning to build an even larger version. With a weapon that size, they could shoot through a small mountain, or a large building. A building makes more sense. The dredge stole a book about ancient architecture from the Priory. They must be preparing to take out a large structure. Well spotted. This weaponsmith, Vyacheslav, sounds madder all the time, even for a dredge. Let's take what we've learned back to the others and figure out where the dredge will strike. Bail out, Slayer. There's something wrong with your suit. It's smoking. What? Good agents know when they've overstayed their welcome. We need to go. Now. <laughs> Lightning bolt! So much for sneaky. Yeah, that wasn't very sneaky anymore. That's usually my issue with the uh, Whispers missions. They have sneaky plans, but very rarely do they have sneaky results. And that's a bummer. You should be able to get by being sneaky. And Guild Wars 2 doesn't exactly have what I'd call a robust stealth system. What happened back there? The mining suit was working perfectly and then it completely broke down. 
Hard to say. Between your size and unfamiliarity with the controls, I expect you taxed its systems past the breaking point. Hardly your fault, of course. Dredge machinery is powerful, but it's not as reliable as the Chars or as flexible as the Asuras. Vyacheslav's machinery seems reliable enough, especially since he keeps upgrading it. We need to identify his target before he perfects his weapon. Agreed. I'll meet you back in Holbrek and we'll confer with the others. Maybe they can help us determine which huge building is in danger. Nice work, by the way. I renew my offer. When you're ready to join the fight against the dragons, the Order of Whispers would be glad to have you. It's not to mention that's not a good idea, but we shouldn't know that yet. Hey, Silent... Silentes is here. Hello, long-time podcast listener. First time I've been able to catch a stream. Well, welcome! I am so glad to see you. I just started running without uh, paying attention where I was running. There uh, we, we can... Oh, yeah. I can use the little uh, exit button. Just yeah. I, I just got distracted with new... New viewer! At first I thought you said silent test, and I was like, what do you mean first time viewer? I know! Silent... Oh, okay. Silent test. Silent is... There's an ES on it, so I'm trying to say it right. Alright, next step back in Holbrook. Yep. Back to the lodge. Hunter's Hearth Home. see one, I see two. Not that you necessarily want to jump into... That is such a pretty outfit. Oh, I see ya. Here we go. Do we have to talk with each of them separately? The dredge are definitely building another weapon, one big enough to shatter a mountain. I've seen the proof with my own eyes. Given the architectural tome they stole, I think Vyacheslav's target is a large building. But which one? Where is he going to strike? True. But a little research might get us that information. My contacts have intercepted a coded dredge message. I suspect it was being sent to Molengrad. If we break the code, we can figure out what the dredge are planning. We haven't got time for the Priory to crack that code. I have a spy inside a dredge settlement. Let's ask him for the information. I'll leave the intelligence gathering to you lot. The vigil is ready to move on whatever you discover. In the meantime, we'll keep hunting Vyacheslav. Vyacheslav. We'll share what we learn with the vigil. But first the Slayer must decide how we're going to learn it. By breaking the code or debriefing the spy. Oh, wait, so I have to so keep you... making decisions? Yeah, if you want to talk to everybody, don't choose the star option. Choose the green and red option. What do you mean the green and red option? When you're talking okay. to the... When you go to talk to somebody, you'll look at them. They'll have all the different options. They'll have like a green arrow and a star and an X. And if you choose the one with the star, that's making a choice. So don't pick, choose that one until you're ready. 
Okay, I don't see or know what you're talking about. Gee, is talk it to somebody. Talk to someone. Just hit F. Yeah, just talk to one of them. Oh. Something new every day. See, now you you mean on that options. chat? Okay, I thought you meant when I'm clicking on them, and I'm like, I don't. I've never had anything different. Yeah. Oh, I know. You don't choose. You can okay, because just... last time you only pit talked to one of them. Oh, I only wanted to talk to her. I was okay. choosing her on purpose. I didn't think to talk to the other one. Yeah, sometimes, like, these don't seem to be giving you a whole lot of additional information. Sometimes when you're given a choice, you'll be able to talk to other NPCs and be like, okay, what are the consequences of this choice? And they'll tell you this, that, or the other thing. These are just like, pick me, pick me! Okay, yeah. Uh... Maybe we should crack the code this time. Sure, let's trade between the two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one of the goals of this section is to show you the different methods of the different orders so that when you get to choose which one you want to join, you've got some idea of who they all are. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Oh, I gotta pick something else now. I'm yeah, now if you hover mask. over everything, it'll tell you if it's something you don't have the skin unlocked for. Like that second one, you have the skin unlocked, but the first and the third, you don't. Huh. So even though you definitely won't be using anything from this level, you can unlock the skin you like the most. Ah, thank you. Good hint. Uh... Meet somebody to crack the code. Are they in here or are they outside? They're probably outside, aren't they? I don't have that. And I'm going the wrong way. I'm going deeper in the lodge and not out of the lodge. There we go. All right, so where's your marker for this one? Uh, it's by the waypoint up at the top. It's right in here. It's right up there by a waypoint I haven't run by, apparently. Yeah, we didn't spend a whole lot of time on exploration when you came in. We just jumped straight to Path of Fire, mostly. <laughs> Pretty much, yep. There we go. Ah, you must be the Slayer. Scholar Prot said you were interested in this coded letter we discovered. That's right. The dredge who sent it have been preparing a new weapon for something big. We need to know what so we can stop it. It's a book cipher. The sender and the recipient both refer to the same published work. Every letter in the code corresponds to a word in the book. This sequence at the end tells you the page and line you want. 029701 means page 297, line 1. I see. And then we use the numbers to assemble the words in the message. But how do we know what book was used to encode it? Uh, that's the tricky part. It could be anything that's ever been published. That's why this code type is informally known as security by obscurity. The only sure way is to find the sender or recipient and see what book they're using. This letter came from Molenheide. If I were you... I'd start there. She like has chubby cheeks like I do. This is nice. I feel I feel like I'm represented in the game finally. Chubby cheeks. Okay. Alright. So code breaker. 
I have Winter Haven Waypoint, which looks close. Security by obscurity, the principle that keeps Master Lock in business. See, if we were in the game earlier, like now, we'd have to be running to all these places because we wouldn't have any waypoints. Okay, so we're going to Winterhaven? Yes. And then we're going to run down... It just looks so soft and squishy. So soft and squishy. Yeah, if this was a pack of vicious raptors, I'm afraid people wouldn't run in fear for mine. They'd run up and hug it. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's that's good if you're a vicious raptor and you've got your meals coming straight up to hug you. I mean, <laughs> free delivery, right? <laughs> best raptor camouflage. <laughs> Code breaker. Code breaker. Find the book. So we're literally. No, we're not going to just search for a book. We're going to just run to. to I'm letting you go. A bodice ripping tale of adventure and romance featuring Lily Bauer, the young, brash, and beautiful daughter of the cruel, disfigured senator Alexander Bauer. Oh, boy. All right. Just fan myself off and continue reading this. Runs away from home twice, joins a band of savage pirates takes on no less than three different men and a woman as lovers. Sounds like the viewers during Choose My Alignment. Um, yeah, that's actually probably right. Three husbands and a wife. 297 is especially dog-eared. Do I really want to read it? This is a family-friendly stream. Should I read it? I was supposed to pay attention to something else. Remember Sanju. <laughs> uh. Can you talk to the scholar and see if there's any hints over there? 
If I walk away, is it gonna auto choose something? You can just you can just close it. It doesn't auto choose in this one like it might in other games. Just hit the X to the right side of the little window. Okay. Oh, it just says find the book. I don't remember them actually saying... Okay. Am I just supposed to guess, or am I actually supposed to be able to figure it out? Truthfully, I am not sure. Um, we didn't see what you were talking like, when you were talking in Holbrack to that one NPC with the chubby cheeks. Yeah. Um, we didn't see that on our screens, so it took me a little while to realize that and tab over. So I didn't see everything that was said there, and I've never actually played this story part myself. She said, page 270, whatever, line one. Line one, real does she gazed in the pirate queen's bottomless umber eyes. Do you have another book in your inventory? Oh, do I have something maybe? I don't know. No, doesn't look like it. I just saw that you are encumbered. I was like, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I just opened up that crafting bag it gave me. You can also drink your uh, eggnog or whatever it is there. Oh, all of my strength eggnogs. How many eggs no, have I had? Yeah, the, yeah just right click and consume all. Your screen will go wavy for a little while, but it'll be fine. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, uh, as far as I can tell, it's just. Moment click until you get the right answer. There's 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 only one right answer. I'm not not a, not a big fan of doing it that way. They should have given you enough information. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't I don't like that either. Oh, apparently I'm drunk and dancing. Didn't know you start dancing when you're drunk. When you're that drunk, apparently you do. I dance like that with and I'm totally sober. <laughs> I would vote for the second one myself. Not not return, it's not ready. Uh, wait. Let's see, Undenberg. I think you're right. Bottomless under, I bottomless umber. I, I mean, that sounds silly, but the first line Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that, there wasn't a lot of We've logic practiced. in that. The weapon is in Underberg, near oh. Lornar's Pass. Good work. <laughs> okay. The Priory employs many fine scholars and many bold adventurers, but it's rare we find both in one package. I sincerely hope you're considering joining us full time. The dragons grow stronger every day, and the Priory needs more members like you. I'm considering it, but we should get to Underberg. This may be our last chance to stop Vyacheslav's weapon. Underberg, Underberg. <laughs> the second is the most ominous result. Ipso facto, it's the right one. There you go. No, I just, I mean, Umber, Under, Under the Valley of the Lily. I guess we can leave. Oh, out the little doorsy door, too. Doorsy, doorsy, doors. That sounds like my drunk hobbit. The theory of them is that one message says the weapon's not ready and it has a location. One message says the theory that it is ready and has a location. 
And Owen says that it's it's ready, but the different location. So process of elimination, supposedly the second one is the most logical, but yeah. It doesn't I, really make much sense. I know, that's a bummer. I would have liked to try code cracking, you know? That's what I was thinking. That's just the, the, um, I feel better about a lot of the personal story steps if it didn't, like, 99% of the time come down to just fight stuff. I mean, are we here to, like, help this guy any, or is it just... Well, we've got 30 seconds left. And we'll get credit for the event, so, yeah, why not? I mean, I think part of it quickly might makes me right. really spoiled by the secret world. Nothing can bring me. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, you know, the secret world did uh, those, you know, really good investigative missions, but at the same time, that was also one of the things that people complained about all the time. But they oh, also... I have to do all this investigation, and it's horrible. I have to get out of the game. And sabotage. Yeah. I mean, no, but that's that's what was so awesome about it all. All those people who complained needed to just might be makes me right smacked. Well, like I, I think uh, was it Bree who posted something on Twitter the other day, saying about how you know people want innovation in games, but they want them to be exactly like what they like now. Oh no, that's I put that complaint in in articles of, you know, it's it's total BS when people say they want innovation. They don't. They want to play the same game they've been playing for the last 15 years. They say they want something new, and the minute something new comes out, they're like, oh my gosh, this is new! Kill it! Kill it with fire! It's horrible. Is that a dragon hanging out up there? Is that a player? That's a player. Darn, I was like, try again! Oh, and when it comes to the, you know, the personal story and the whole dragon killing bit, you gotta put yourself in the mindset of someone in this world who's dealing with the fact that, you know, Zaitan is out there raising undead minions and killing entire towns, so. Kind of a threat. Not a yeah, I mean, happy sparky like, dragon. The crystal dragons sneeze and they wipe out entire continents. Yeah. All right, so where are we headed now? Uh, it's something in the middle of Shiver Peak. So yeah, it looks like going through this way is gonna be the quickest. Oh my okay. goodness, Camus, you're fine. Kitty. <laughs> Big Blue fluffy kitty. Cries. I think we end up hearing the new Chaos Kittens more than the, you know, original Chaos Kittens anymore. Yeah, because Hanen doesn't run around crying as much. Camus, on the other hand, just... I mean, Hanen goes around to check hey, on us Look and make sure that we're here and okay. Camus, like, literally leaves my daughter and then runs around the house crying because she's not next to him. I, <laughs> you're just like, um... It's like, cat, I think you're making your own problems. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I don't know where we're going. I'm just unlocking stuff. Oh. I'm just following you guys. <laughs> uh... I think MJ's the only one who sees the star. I don't have the star, so yeah, exactly. Probably this one. No, we got to keep going. Hold on, which way am I facing? We gotta keep going this way. Isn't there another road? No, how do we get to... 
that road. How do we get to a road right. over there? Oh yeah, up on the rock. Do they open up your map again? Nope, you can nope. use a bunny, not a raptor, if you want. But bunny's I know it's not, not a fluffy. Bunny, but... Bunny's not fluffy yet. ended up not going up. I was hoping this road would go up. It looks like you might have to get through, even though it wanted us to go this way, it looks like you might have to get through it coming down. Okay, um, open up the map. I'm gonna, I've been open. I'm gonna jump back up to the frozen sweeps. And run yeah, but, down. Oh, I was gonna say, open up the map and put a, put a star that we can see near the star that you can see. Hold down Alt and click near the star. Alt. There you go. So yeah, I think I'm gonna run down. Although there, you know, we were running through and getting a bunch of waypoints, which is cool. All right, so from here, if we go back to the west and then take the first road north, we'll get there. So we, we were really close to where we needed to be. We just needed to go east instead of south like we did. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's a road here by the Mist Riven Waypoint, it looks like. It looks like there's another road here. This way. Yep. If you jump to that mist riven one. There's that, but there's actually a... I'm gonna get this... There we go. Alright, I'll just wait till everyone's here. Yeah, I don't know all the waypoints by name, so I'm just flying to where you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys just jump on and fly. Nothing can bring me down. Yeah, let's find out what's going on. Now you suffer. Lightning bolt! To battle! Like, the mobs in here are all half dead. What's up with that? Yeah, the dredger fighting the ice brute. Uh. Whoops. Hold, Slayer. Let's hear what the dredge are saying. I've had enough of your insolence and your cowardice. The people demand vengeance, 
and Vyacheslav has provided the means. But Vyacheslav is insane, can't you see that? His weapon is as dangerous to us as it is to his target. His thirst for revenge will doom us all. Vyacheslav is a genius, and his weapon will crush the last of the dwarf oppressors. The revolution will finally be complete. At what cost? The last dwarf is protected by the Durman Priory. Taking his life is not worth war with one of the most powerful orders in Tyria. Enough! I declare you an enemy of the people and a traitor to the cause. The penalty oh. is death. Rise, brothers and sisters, and kill this turncoat! Any that remind anybody of I'd someone in Princess enough. Bride? Let's save that dissenter. He may be able to help us. Uh, dissenter's not the one I already shot and killed, right? Hopefully. Now he's the one with the star in front of us. Okay, because I, like, killed everybody else. I was gonna say, I think we rescued him before... We were told Thank you for saving me. I can't believe my own comrades turned on me so viciously. If you're truly grateful, tell me about Vyacheslav's weapon. I would not lightly betray the Molotariat, but Vyacheslav is insane. I'll tell you all I know. Vyacheslav calls it the Mark III Sonic Vaporizer. It uses the recorded cries of a captive Ice Dragon minion, subsonically amplified so that the vibration crushes stone. The last dwarf oppressor, Ogden Stonehealer, is hiding inside the Dermond Prior itself. Generations of enslaved dredge demand his death. Ogden had nothing to do with oppressing your people. His skills and knowledge make him a valuable member of the Dermond Priory. And Vyacheslav wants him dead. The problem is the sonic vaporizer attracts dragon minions whenever it's fired. And Ogden's inside the Durman Priory itself. You were right, Prot. Vyacheslav's target is going to face dragon minions as well as the dredge weapon. The Priory must be defended. We'll need all the help we can get. Quickly, we must return to Holbrek and confer with the others. Yeah, Hikari, the first rule is never wage war a land war in Canada. <laughs> I'm serious, it sounded like him. Ah, uh, anything worth exploring in here? Not really. Wait, oh, that's just the minion guy we just talked to, right? No, okay, wait, what is this golden? It's outside the instant. Oh, cheap shot, okay. Oh yeah, a lot of times you can't get um, you know, explorable things when you're in an instance. Sometimes it'll let you get points of interest, but that's about it. Well, I mean, it just makes it look look like it's in the instance. All right. Um. Oh, there we go. I'm like. A Apparently, I'm missing my you are. All right, leave an instancy. And then I think we're going back to Holbrook. To the Great Lot. Wait, oh, I'm in combat. Commodore. You okay? <laughs> The Underberg. Underberg. Under. Oh, wait, what are we doing? I have to go back to the Great Lodge. Okay. I'm just singing Underdog. Because <laughs> I love Underdog. Disappointed my Christmas hat doesn't show up in any of the cutscenes. Keone, I never did the personal story. <laughs> 
I did a little bit of it on my plant girl. Who looks like a Christmas tree. Silvari. Uh, but no, I didn't. I joined the game in Path of Fire at 80 and went from mounts to mounts to more mounts. Forget the whole, you know, rest of Guild Wars 2. <laughs> We've got to act quickly. Vyacheslav is targeting the Derman Priory itself in an effort to kill Ogden Stonehealer. What's worse, the weapon's sonic beam is based on the cries of dragon minions. The sound it makes will attract every dragon minion in the region. Sounds simple enough. We know where they're going. We can meet them head on and destroy the weapon before they fire it. That's how the Vigil handles those who kill our soldiers and trifle with dragons. Vyacheslav and all who stand with him must die. I agree, but the Order of Whispers has a subtler solution. The Slayer and I will use stealth magic to get close to Vyacheslav. We can kill him without engaging all the dredge forces. Without their leader, they'll collapse into chaos. Excuse me, the Priory's main facility is entirely capable of defending itself. <laughs> we have access to ancient and powerful magic. Specifically, we have a silencing ritual that will completely baffle Vyacheslav's sonic weapon. No sound, no attack, and no lured dragon minions. Tough choices, Slayer, but clear ones. But before you make your decision, you should understand how important this oh, choice wait, is. Oh wait, this is like a real choice Each of now? the orders would be honored to have you join. If you agree, the order you choose to help now will accept you into its ranks permanently. Yes. That will put you in a position to join their fight against the Elder Dragons. I, for one, can think of no better path for a hero to take. Oh, crud. Agreed. I'm ready to confront the most dangerous threat Tyria has ever faced. Yeah, I'm ready and to face them, to do it. but I'm not ready to Give make a, a choice. Give me a moment to consider, and then I'll choose. <laughs> now, like I say, the, uh, yeah. the Vigil are pretty much... Everything they do is smite, smite, smite. They're very much soldiers. Yeah, the, I'm uh, pretty good at not doing that. Um, mad scientists, I mean, I'm probably going to go with sneaky, but mad scientist sounds pretty cool too, but maybe not on my ranger. The, the mad scientist is fun arc and you do get the last dwarf lore. So there's a little bit more lore, but the agent story is kind of more fun and has better characters. <laughs> so this like influences the whole rest of my story. Nah, I did like the next next five missions oh okay there, there's occasional callbacks but it's nothing impacting it's less impacting than like star wars steel republic for instance. okay because it actually i mean it sounds like they've got a silencing weapon that'll you know that actually sounded intriguing that sounded worth looking at but not if this is the main choice Mm, I like that. I'm ready to confront dangers. I'm not ready for a choice. <laughs> not. Uh, so, like, I, I honestly miss lore I can never get again if I don't choose them. Well, I mean, you can play through on another character. You can play through on another character. Or oh. you can play it with somebody else. I did make a little Asura. Asura would be great for the... Uh, Mad scientists? Earth. Her name. I can't get over her name. Who did that? I mean, come on. And it, it, this isn't a hard thing to get to either. It's only a level 30 quest. So. Who would name somebody if when? That's just. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Is a horrible, horrible. Not even a funny pun. After the living world and expansions, not such a big deal anymore. It was a big deal for the original vanilla game. Oh. Yeah, I've been completely out of order. Because I still haven't done Heart of Thorns. I still don't have Heart of Thorns. Did I finally get Heart of Thorns? It comes with Path of Fire. Okay, I got Heart of Thorns. Then there was one that I didn't have, though. I thought. Season 2 you didn't have? You no, there's have it now. there's actually still one of the 
If there's an expansion you don't there's have, there's an expansion I don't have. The only expansion you don't have now is End of Dragons. Yeah. And that doesn't come out until next month. Because everything else, Path of Fire came with Heart of Thorns. Yeah, you have Heart of Thorns because you have a glider. Yeah, and we've got all the living world stuff in between when they gave them out for free. Okay, yep, and I don't, I haven't done any Heart of Thorns. That I can believe, yes. You did the first two. Yeah. Well, to get the glider, that's about it, right? First I, one, yeah, just the yeah, glider. Wait for the glider. But yeah, you should have everything unlocked to this point. The only thing you didn't have was Season 2, but then they gave Season 2 away. So you had it all. Yes, I came in to make sure I've got... And then it's just History Lesson for Season 1. Yes. Season 1 doesn't exist anymore. Okay. All right, we're gonna be stealthy, sneaky. Oh, hey, well, they'll tell me some more, so we'll learn some more first. Focus and efficiency. Any interesting news? See, explore and study, that's really cool too. Yeah, sorry guy, I've never been a bash everybody in the head. Hail. I mean, the way he says it makes him sound knowledge good. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. See, knowledge is the greatest treasure. Okay, no, I'll knowledge on somebody else. It's actually a hard part. He makes his sound better. He really does make his sound better. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Uh, yes, there is. It's the wrong choice. <laughs> the wrong choice will be whatever one I actually choose, because that's just how I am. I, I usually do the uh, the priory on my magic -y characters and my engineer characters, whereas like the agent, you know, kind of. I only actually did the agent uh, on this turn because usually Natalia does the whisper talk. <laughs> Um, yeah, the main reason I went with the Priory on the Mesmer is because after dealing with them for a little while, I figured they needed an adult in the room. <laughs> I, well, crud, because my little Asura is a magic user. Or, no, I made a little assassin -y like Asura thing. I don't know. Who knows? I'll probably never play her. All right. Uh. The Order has a really fun story. Order of Whispers? Or the Order of Whispers, yeah. Excellent. You're very skilled. It'll be a pleasure to have you along. There's nothing like hunting down foes and seeing them die before they even know we're there. That's right up my alley. I'll meet you at the gathering point and we'll head in. That's the spirit. This is how the Order of Whispers achieves results by striking directly at the heart of the problem. Informed, precise, and effective. And after we save the Priory, we'll turn that tactic on the Elder Dragons themselves. You've chosen well, Slayer. I look forward to seeing the great things you will do with the Order of Whispers. I am proud to have found the hero Tyria needs. I will join you for the defense of the Priory. Until then and forever after, may the spirits of the wild walk with you. Skin's already unlocked. Skin locked. Skin unlocked. Alright, then we'll go for you. Since your skin was. <laughs> Alright.
Alrighty. So, do I have my little griffin out? Yeah, that's who I have out following me. Isn't it just so cute? These plushies are awesome. All right. Time wise, yeah, I got time. At Doramond Priori. Priori. Alright, where's that at? Oh. Bipeda's Gate? I didn't know Peta was in here. Uh, it's probably sending you there because. Is there's a gate here? Well, it's sending an alliance arch. What's your next step? What's it say to you? Uh, meet if when at the Duramond Priory. Okay, because yeah, the Priory is pretty easy to get to out the east gate of Lion's Arch, so we can do that. Personal log. A surprising amount of char is getting through. I wouldn't mind, but their fur gets into everything. Oh, sure, I'll just go through the portal, why not? And then when you get into Lion's Arch, look all the way to the east, you should have a little marker pointing you out the cavern exit by the cavern waypoint. Actually had a waypoint right there. Whoops! Wait, I think I went through when I shouldn't have. No, nope. well, if you went through that waypoint to Warner's Pass, we were following. Oh no! I went the right way. Good. Yep. Maybe just too much that even time cannot erase. That was a heck of a jump. Where are we going? just jumping this way because uh, I guess I could have gone across the bridge and actually gotten the refuge peak I just kind of wanted to now I'm gonna have to backtrack oh can I backtrack how do you get up there oh, I see it me I'm just gonna open up there we go <laughs> now we're right back to where I was <laughs> go. 
My, the fury is mine. I hope you're ready, Slayer. Vyashislav is powering up his sonic vaporizer. Even if it doesn't kill Ogden Stone Healer or level the Priory, it will attract every dragon minion in the region. I'm ready. What's the plan? I'll conceal us with stealth magic so we can get close enough to kill Vyashislav. There are a lot of dredge to sneak past, but I know you're up to it. A diversion would help clear the way. See those supply crates all along the route? A few well-placed explosive charges and boom, diversion. An excellent idea, and right in line with our way of doing things. I knew there was a reason we recruited you. Indeed, those are the sound tactics I expect of the Slayer. Air, you did come. It means a lot that you'd fight at my side today. Ogden is an old friend, and thanks to you I've been reminded that no matter how bad things seem, heroes don't give up on their friends. I will stay behind to guard Ogden while you and the Order take the lead. Speaking of my old friend... Air! If one. And you must be the Slayer of Isormir. I am Ogden Stonehealer. Thank you for defending the Prior. Are we sure he's not a statue? Life. Time to go, Slayer. He is made of stone. We need to get stealth okay. to find Vyashislav. The sooner we get started, the better. He is one of the characters from Guild Wars 1. So he's pretty old at this point. Let's steer clear of the main force and focus on the supplies. Wait, it wants me... Am I not supposed to resurrect people? I wouldn't here. Well, that just makes me feel terrible. Yeah, well... Goal of the mission and all. Might makes me right. Stealthy stealth. Oh jeez, look at the map. Skulls and crossbones all around. Oh, that's terrible. That just makes you feel bad. Yeah, that's not very stealthy. I get it. But that does not feel like me leaving them there. Well, you mentioned the Secret World before. We stopped and tried to uh, res them all. It'd be like the bridge in the Secret World. This is wrong. <laughs> the yep. prototype almost got us all killed. You saw those ice dragon minions? What yeah, will happen the, the when he fires this version only... of his weapon? Of one Stop of the three whining. orders that is in the, the we have to save the everyone. And the minions will destroy the Priory. And what of us? The Priory and the Whisper are both the we have to save They'll kill us too. most everyone. Sorry, don't do anything. I'm not there yet. I was listening to the chit chat back here. <laughs> yeah, I always stop and listen to the uh, dialogue going on. And like I said, you, you picked a route I've never seen, so. Stay strong, comrades. We are just Go will ahead. Not tolerate Plant cowardice. the charges on we the crate. We are strong, but Vyacheslav's plan is suicidal. Ice Dragon Minions! Keep your voice down. The Archislav will kill you for saying such things. And me for hearing them. If the charges are set, we need to get clear. Pay no attention <sighs> to the bombs. What was that? Those explosions should grab their attention. Now to cloak us. I'll keep them distracted while you defeat Vyashislav. When he falls, the other dredge will break and run. Consider this your initiation into the Order of Whispers. I'll be back before you know it. You're supposed to go back down now? Yep, okay. Nothing can bring me down.
But yeah, see, stealth like this doesn't exist in the actual game. Like, yeah. So I can just attack him while I'm stealth. I don't think we'll be stealth once we attack him, but yeah. Eat pain. You cannot stop why you for no. I can't die while the oppressor dwarf still lives. Well, that didn't hold up very well. Now did it? Oh. See, we didn't need I do most of my research at the pub. I do most of my research at the pub. Something new every day. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. Well, Research is only as useful as its practical application. Oh, she's all staying invisible. If, if we'd still hide me. I know. It's like she doesn't trust me or something. Well done. If not for you, Ogden would be dead, and the Dermond Priory would be in ruins or buried in ice brood. Few people in Tyria truly understand how great a threat the Elder Dragons are to all of us. But we who do are preparing to stop them. It's been a pleasure fighting alongside you, Slayer. But now you're expected in Lion's Arch. Look for a vendor selling apples. He'll be very, very enthusiastic about his apples. Good luck, Slayer. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I am also headed for Lion's Arch. I've heard from one of my former comrades in Destiny's Edge. We used to fight dragons together. I've heard of them. In Holbrook, they still sing songs of their brave deeds. You took down a dragon lieutenant together, didn't you? In simpler times, yes. We disbanded, but now I see that we, I, have more to do. You helped teach me that, and I will always be grateful. After all you've taught me, it's only fair that I return the favor. Farewell, heir. I hope to see you again someday. So long, farewell. Oh, order the Whisper's weapon container. Trackless boots. I'm always achieving greatness. It's like, yeah, you got too much stuff in your bag now. Let's see, what else can we get rid of? Well, there's stuff I can... Now that the skins are unlocked, I guess I could just delete them. Yeah, oh, does things. anybody need a candy cane dagger of concentration skin? Saved it in case anybody wanted one. I say, but that's an exotic, so don't toss that away. Oh, I know. That's why I'm just gonna give it away. If... Um, you can uh, learn those recipes. Uh, I already you know this one. one. Do you know the one that's shaped like an apple? Looks like shaped like an apple. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do not. There we go. We can learn that one. You can always try the deposit all. <laughs> I did. You got more, uh, more things to drink. Get dancing again. Oh, the peppermint oils? No, that's a. Oh. No, no, the third, third bag down, first and second slot. Eighty-two mugs of eggnog. You want me to drink eighty-two mugs at once? You're in Norn. You can take it. 27 glasses of... Ex 57 glasses of buttered spirits. Here we go. 
Consume all. How many ales have I had? You'll be fine. <laughs> How many ales have I had? That's <laughs> that's a true kind of statement. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and now we leave. <laughs> now we leave. Wait. Mastery point earned. Oh. Yeah, so that was the level 30 personal story. Um, next one up is level 40. And the interesting thing I find about this one is the sections that take you to Lion's Arch. When you're in the Lion's Arch instances, it's the original Lion's Arch before it was destroyed and rebuilt. So you get to see it again. Oh, nice. Well, in that case, I'll just leave and I won't go to Lion's Arch right now and we'll go and enjoy that with lots of screenshots some other time. Natalia or Hikari, do either of you want a giver's candy cane dagger of concentration? I mean, sure, I'll take it. I, it's my second one that I got. I have one of my own. Wait, are you Chorus Dazia? Because it's yeah. white hair? Okay. <laughs> you have to mail it. I have to mail it. Oh. Yeah, mailing items to other characters is free. Compose to... So I gotta spell it right. Just Hikari should show it. Oh. It says Core Stasia here. That'll work. Okay. Candy cane! As long as, it, as long as it picks the right person. Yeah, as long as it sends the right one. Uh, it has your name. Always, I always do it by the account name, just in case. Fine. 7539? Yep. Alright. Gotta pay you back for. Oh, Tiny. No, 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 no. Nope. Wait, what? It changed. The name changed. He changed the name somehow. Ah! Oh, because I was hitting I to get in my inventory. Alright, there we go. Wait, it's still in there. You gotta type something. Yeah, it'll still be in your inventory until you get sent. You're good. Yay! It's like my first mail I've sent. I, I mean, I've sent some replies, but... Thank you. You are welcome. Now, the skin unlock is account-wide, right? Yes. yes. Okay. <gasps> I just, I gave, I'll, I'll use it on my, on my warriors. Yeah, I'm trying to think, that little Asura that I made, she's not on this account. What? I don't, she's not on this account. She's on the family account I made. Ah, uh, well, I'll get more candy canes for her. I don't remember what class she even is. Shadow something, Debbie. I don't even remember, but... <laughs> I'm supposed to ask if you have a uh, celestial die. Um... Uh, open up H. Yep, yep, go on, go on to dies. Go to dies. It's all the way towards the end in rare dies. It's a white one. Uh, well, I just tried to search. Oh, hang on. It looks like I'm only on dies that I have. I mm. definitely do not. Okay, cool. Yeah. I think Natalia's going to send you one because I got it out of a... I got it out of a lion's chest, but... I already have it. Oh. Oh, very nice. Well, that has us then all the way through. 
my story <laughs> up to 30s. Now we've got the 40s. So the, that means technically that way we only have the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. And is there an 80s one? I'm having flashbacks to radio stations. <laughs> Play the best hits from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and today. <laughs> I know, but that's what you can't. So no, there's there's just seven parts to the main story, I think. Nice. Well, there. I mean, oh, there's no, there's more than well, that. Yeah, I there's level eighty. Yeah. Well, oh, we are right there, right there, ready to continue on, but we're in the middle of. Uh, Whatever we were doing. What were we doing? We were still doing Living World Season 4. Living World Season 4. So we'll probably get right back into that. And I will likely do the personal story sometime on my own, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. I'll have to decide that. Natalia, make rum for pirates. <laughs> Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining me. I did not, I, one reason I did personal story was because it was a great suggestion in case nobody could join me. <laughs> Turns out everybody was here. We could have run through, but a little bit of personal story is good to get through and get done. So thank you so much. And to all of you out there who joined us and are supporting us today on MassiveOP.com, thank you. You guys are amazing. You are why I get to stay in my house and not go outside. <laughs> In the negative 24. <laughs> Even Pentapod up there in Edmonton is way warmer than me today. <laughs> what kind of craziness is this? But uh, <laughs> maybe, um, hopefully everybody is staying warm. And while you're hanging out, I don't know that your phone will keep you warm at all or anything, but you can read up on all the news and everything there on MassiveOP.com. Don't forget, you can also share interesting stories. I would love to hear stories about your, which faction you like the best. Put that on the stream post and we'll see which faction has the most followers. Uh, the Order of Whispers, the Priori, or the Bash them in the Face people. I, I don't even know what they're called, but... <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments below in that post. And I will look forward to seeing you all again next time. Please be safe, be well. Check out the calendar. There is another stream tonight, so don't miss out. And we'll see you then. Toodles, everyone. <laughs>